Monday night down there in Miami. Which players do you think are going to have the biggest impact? Because there's a lot of household names. Listen, I think it's Justin Fields, either good or bad. I think Justin Fields is going to have the most on him. I think he's going to be asked to have another amazing game from the pocket. But then I also think that he has to have an amazing game with his legs and his athletic ability. I think what we also need to remember about Justin Fields is he's not only a great quarterback, he's one of the most elite athletes on the field, period, out of all positions. He's a 4-4 runner, he's a 500-pound squatter, he's a great athlete, and I hope that he's healthy because I think that is a key for this game for Ohio State, for them to be in it, is he has to use his arms like he did, but he also has to use his legs because of the way Alabama's defense is going to play him. Let me tell you something, man, okay? That last part you brought up, is where the problem begins. That, that shot he took from Skelsky, okay, that, by the way, I didn't think the man needed to be ejected for the second consecutive year from the... I mean, what the hell is he supposed to do? His arms are out. I mean, what is he supposed to do? Be like, uh, like the Men in Black movie where your head shrinks into your body so you don't lead with your head or something? His arms were out for crying out loud. How are you going to eject him from that game? I, I, it, the college football sometimes gets on my last nerves with that nonsense. But I'll tell you this. Justin Fields' ribs were pretty hurt. Now, the man can throw. He's athletic. We get all of that. But you know where I'm going, Tim. Who's he going against? Alabama. Guess what? I don't care what he does. It doesn't matter. He's going down, okay? The Crimson Tide, Nick Saban and the crew, Mac Jones, who's going to be a first-round pick. I hope he falls to the Steelers, by the way. I hope the Steelers grab him. He last late, he did, gets picked up by the Steelers because we know Ben Roethlisberger's on his last late. Najee Harris running the football. Devontae Smith catching the football. Let me tell you something. I, Ohio State is big time. I have mad respect for them. But Justin Fields is not 100%, and those dudes are. Alabama all day, every day wins the national championship Monday night. That's right. I said it. Steve, Stephen, hey, for all those reasons you just said, that's why I'm saying that Justin Fields has to have a huge game on Monday night is because I do think that's Alabama it. is the better overall team. And with Devontae Smith, maybe they're gonna, maybe they'll get Jalen Waddle back. Mac Jones is the most efficient, is the highest QBR in the history of the metric. This offense is the most efficient offense in history, right? Because of all that, I think you have to have an amazing game by Justin Fields to keep this thing close going back and forth. I want to ask you about a quarterback who won't be playing, uh, Tim Trevor Lawrence, who is as a you know, pr best prospect doesn't always make the best pro, you know, like often to Andrew Luck. But since Luck, it, Trevor Lawrence seems to be the most complete package size, speed, arm strength, accuracy, experience, championship like the, the whole package. When you look at recent number one overall picks at the quarterback position, like you know, a couple of Big 12 guys, uh, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray, how does he stack up to those guys, do you think? I think that Trevor has everything that you want. You just named a, a lot of the attributes you would want in, in a first pick in the draft quarterback. I think he has all of them. The other things I would add is I think that he has um, a lot of moxie off of the field and the way he carries himself. I think he'll be able to lead an organization. I think he has all those things. I think if you're grading him, he probably grades a little bit higher than some of the other, um, some of the other guys. But I totally agree with you, Max. It doesn't mean that you're going to be the best quarterback. I still think that it, it, you know, it's important what team he goes to. Is it a good fit for him? Are they going to play to his strengths? Listen, I think Dabo did an amazing job of of coaching this kid, and and he's been put in a great system. And I think that he he should be the number one pick. But I also think it matters. The team needs to be able to protect him to take care of them, to put playmakers around him, because it doesn't matter how good you are at quarterback. If you don't have a supporting staff around you, then you're not going to be successful. I think Trevor brings everything you think, to the Tim, table, real quick, but I still think it, it... Do you think he's as... How would you compare him to Joe Burrow? I know Burrow is, is, is older and, and is hurt now, but how would you compare him to Joe Burrow as a quarterback prospect? Burrow beat him in, in the big game last year, but how, as a prospect, how would you compare him to Joe Burrow? I think Trevor has way more elite talent. I think Joe Burrow right now has a little bit more of an uh, elite mindset. Just his confidence is outrageous for Joe Burrow. And I would say if I was um, you know, splitting him, I would say Joe Burrow, I'm going to give the edge to his moxie and his it factor right now. 
in the skill set, I'm going to give the edge to Trevor Lawrence. Okay, watched him in the coverage of our Monday Night National Championship game all over our ESPN platforms. Tim, before I let what? you go, I got to ask you this. What do you make of your... <laughs> Even I. What do you make your former coach, what, what, Urban Meyer? Watch it? Apparently, Jacksonville's. Oh my goodness! Can I speak, please? What do you make your I'm former sorry. coach, Urban Meyer, being targeted by the Jacksonville Jaguars? Well, Molly, I think there's a lot of people that want him in college and in the NFL, and um, we've you know had a lot of conversations, and I think he's sitting there listening, but. Um, I think it'll take a right job with the, the right opportunity to get him. But I think the Jaguars and a lot of other teams should want him because I think he's one of the best coaches to ever do it. And am I biased? Of course I am because he's like a father figure to me. But I think um, if there's a team that gets him, that can lure him away from being a, uh, an analyst and a grandfather and a dad and a husband, which he's doing a great job of doing that right now, then they're going to get a great coach who I think is going to do a great job at whatever, wherever he goes, if he goes to it. Um, takes another head coaching job. I will say, I, I will say this real quick, and I and I am not biased. Uh, Urban Meyer is one of the greatest coaches I've ever seen in my life. And when you see other people do this job, and then you look at his resume, it is as close to impeccable as you can get. If there is someone who deserves an opportunity, no matter which team it is, it is him. So I wish him nothing but the best. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.